Hello, hello. Today we are going to learn how to make a song in Chrome Music Lab. So, start off by going to musiclab.chromeexperiments.com. That'll bring you to this page right here. It's got tons of cool things where you can look at music on the science level and you can break it apart and see all this cool stuff. But today, we're going to go with the first tab, Song Maker. So click on the arrow and let it load up. Once you're in SongMaker, you'll see this screen right here. What you have here are four measures. That's four groups of four beats. You can see they're broken into white and gray and white and gray. Each one of those is one measure. You can see it as the four big beats here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Those are like our quarter notes. If you notice, each beat is also broken into two parts. So those would be our eighth notes. That'd be one and two and three and four and. So each column you see here going from the top down, every column is one eighth note. It gives you two instruments to work with. You've got the melody that takes up all this space down here, and then you have the rhythm that takes up these two bottom parts. And you have tons of different instruments to choose from. You can use the piano, the flute, the strings, and change it by clicking on this button right down here. So you can go to piano, strings, woodwind, flute, synthesizer. I'm going to stick with marimba. And you've got other drums too, electronic, blocks, kit, conga. I'm going to stick with the marimba and the electronics today. So remember, every column is one eighth note. So if I fill in every note on the drums, I'll get this sound. By clicking and dragging, I fill in all the notes. So now if I hit play, one and two and three and four and 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 stop. That's four measures, right? We counted to four and twice. Or we sorry, we counted to four and four times. Whoops. So but the key to a good song isn't always more notes, right? It's picking the ones picking the right notes. So I'm gonna clear these out by clicking and dragging, or you can go up to the top here and hit restart if you want to clear the whole thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bass drum and put it on beat one every time. So now that's on beat one of every measure. And I'm going to put the snare drum, the top part, on beats two and four. I'm not putting anything where my head is. So now if I hit play, I have one, two, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and stop. So now we're getting starting to come along. We have a bass line. We have a rhythm going on. If you're following along in the video, this would be a great time to pause and fill in what's already there. And if you pause and unpaused, now let's go on and add a melody. So what you see, this whole space up here, that's our melody space. This starts on Do at the bottom and goes all the way up. Re, mi, fa, so, fa, ti, do. Goes from Do to Do and it keeps going. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. All the way up to T and they don't have another Do. So they only go from Do to Do then up to T. Today we're going to stick with this range. We're going to go from Do to Do. That's one octave. Remember, it has eight notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So for starters, let's keep it simple. We're just going to put do, 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 every measure. We have three quarter note do's every measure now. So now let's play it with the drum beat. That's coming along, but that's kind of boring. Remember, Do is home, so if you stay home all day, that, that's kind of boring, isn't it? Let's go out some. Let's go out. I'm going to take away these middle two measures by clicking and dragging across them. And I'm going to go up to Do, Re, Mi. I'm going to go to Fa. And then I'm going to go out to Sol. Now remember, 
you, if you go out, you have to come back home, right? You can't stay out all night. Your parents would worry about you. You got to come back home. So we're going to go do, then fa, then sol, then back to do. Let's see how that goes. We can let it keep playing. <laughs> All right, so right there in six minutes, that's starting to come along. That's a pretty okay song we're working up. And you can do even more. You could add eighth notes. You could put more drums in. You can even have multiple notes playing at the same time. I could put another doe on top. Could do lots of fun stuff. But I'm going to leave it right there for now. So when you've made a whole when you made a whole song in this, what you're gonna do, as I get out of the way, what you're gonna do is go over down to this bottom corner right here and see this button right here that says save. When you've made your song, you don't want to lose it when you close the tab. So you're gonna click on save and it'll bring you up a link. Now you can click on copy that link, and now it's on your clipboard. So you can send that to yourself. Message it to a friend, email it to someone. I recommend if you want to make your own song on this, you should explore this. Click on save, copy your link, make your own song, and paste it as a comment on this video. That's all for today. I really hope you guys go look and explore. This is a pretty cool website to have up for free. And you can use it on any computer. You don't have to download it. So I really think you guys should take full advantage of this. Have a good day, and thank you for watching.